Howdy, hey everyone. Today, we shall be playing Sunhaven. Uh, there's been a lot of updates. A lot of content added. And, uh, let's get right into it. Are you almost done? I can't be I can't be late for the train. Just a moment, Lynn. If you don't take your time, the metal will warp. You know that. I know. I just wouldn't want to miss the train as all. Well. What's wrong, Lynn? Well, nothing. It's just, I don't know if I'm ready to move so far from home yet. Sunhaven is a whole day's ride away. Oh, Lynn. We'll save up the extra coin and visit you. Don't worry. But you already put everything into the new home. For me and that Sunhaven. You didn't even have cake for your birthday because of me. Don't worry about things like that. Your future is bright. You should be excited for it. Sunhaven is home to Salome, one of the world's greatest blacksmiths. You'll make a fine apprentice to him. And you'll learn a lot. You won't even have time to be worried about home, I'd say. You're going to meet new people and see new things. Who knows, he might even get married. Married? That's right. This isn't just a chance to grow as a blacksmith, Lynn. You'll do a lot of growing up, too. Sunhaven is a legendary town. There's a reason so many people go there. To find what they're looking for. Now, come here. It's done. Try it on quickly. We have to get going. Grandma's old paltrins. For me? I have wider shoulders than you, but I think I've made the adjustments properly. The, the reminders of where you came from and what you're working for, your grandmother passed them down to me when I began my blacksmith's apprenticeship. And now it's time they were passed on to you. They fit perfectly. Thank you, Mother. I'm really going to miss everyone. Grandma and Grandpa and all the villagers. We're all going to miss you too, Lynn. But we're expecting great things from you. Ah, it's time. We need to get going. Oh, right. Let's go. Oh my. So many people. I hope there's a place for me to sit. Um... I'm sorry, but is this seat taken? Sorry, lady. These seats are occupied. Really? Because there's one right there. Oh, so sorry to bother you. Uh, hello. I'm sorry to bother, but is this seat taken? Sorry, lady. These seats are spoken for. All, all of them? Oh, are you sure? I don't... There doesn't seem to be any... I... It, it's okay. Never mind. Oh. 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 Not the cloud. I like the cat. I guess I could try one more time. Sorry to bother, but is the seat taken? Oh! Are you a demon? I I'm sorry, some of the people in my village always said that you should never trust a demon. I didn't think it was right that, uh, that, <clears throat> right of them to assume something like that, though. <laughs> Your village is closed minded! <laughs> uh, no, we'll be nice. It's alright. Have a seat. I don't mind that you're a demon at all, by the way. Um, 
Everyone is better off being friends, no matter what they are. Well, what an awkward start. Oh, um, so is that charm on your belt? People from my village wear charms all the time. What does your charm mean? It's a charm for romance. Ho ho ho. Uh. I'm sure we'll romance people eventually, but. I will have it be peace. I got another achievement. Peace. That's a very honest thing to want, I think. Hey. If you don't mind me asking, are you heading to Sunhaven? How did you know? So you are heading there too. <laughs> well, if there's... <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. Well, if there's... That's... That's what that word is. That word is that. Where you're headed, then that will make us neighbors. I'd be neighbors with you any day. Uh, oh, is that so? Well, uh, I'd like to be neighbors with you any day, too. Thank you for being so kind. By the way, my name is Lynn. What's yours? Funny Lloyd. That's a very unique name. I know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Oh, my. You're from the great city? How exciting! I come from a village in the eastern region. It's a lot smaller than Sunhagen. I wonder if you heard the rumors. It said that monster folk have been spotted in recent times around Sunhaven. Okay, what do you think I am? Rude. And that in deep forests there is a city of darkness where all sorts of monster folk live. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I see. I agree. They say it's why some people are wary to travel to Sunhaven these days. I hope it's only rumors. I mean, Sunhaven must be a safe place, don't you think? After all, they have their own, very own guardian dragon protecting it. And he must be pretty powerful. Whoa, it got dark suddenly, didn't it? Can't see a thing. What happened to the lab? <laughs> Everyone panic! W w what was that? The lights went out, I guess. You don't think it was monsters, do you? It was probably nothing. We can't be far from Sunhaven now, can we? We should be arriving soon. Good, then I can farm. Or bake. That's what I chose as the profession. Now arriving at Sunhaven. We seem to have encountered some strange dark fog. So be careful as you step off the train. Okay. Oh! Is the conductor the dragon? That is not the voice I would have chosen if I knew he was a dragon. Okay. Well. Lucia. My goodness! What happened? I think the lights went out. Oh, and your train is messed up. We saw that cloud of darkness sweeping across the land. It finally stopped here at the train station. Trains won't be able to come to... Nothing. Trains won't be able to come and go from Sunhaven like this. But that can wait. Are either of you hurt? It was quite frightening, but no one was hurt. What is that darkness? That's a good question, Lucia. What should we do about the train station? I don't know why I made him read. 
Oh, he's probably nice. Let's see. The darkness? Whatever it is. Looks like it isn't going anywhere or causing any harm. Let's keep an eye on it for the moment. Until I can learn more about it anyway. So, um... Oh, my apologies. You both seem to have arrived under an unusual circumstance. I am Lucian, Archmage and leader at Sunhaven. This is Nathaniel, Captain of... Captain of our city guard. You must be our new apprentice, uh, Blacksmithling. And that would make you Bunny Lord, our new farmer. That seems so rude. Wow, you're smart. No wonder you're the town lead. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna put that right. I'm gonna be nice, because that's what I wanna be. Maybe in another playthrough I'll be rude. That's what people want. Lucia. As the leader of Sunhaven, I'd like to meet our new citizens personally. Welcome them to, to uh, the great city of Sunhaven. It's good to meet you both. Take my word that you have nothing to fear in Sunhaven. It is our sworn duty to keep the people of Sunhaven safe, no matter what. Don't worry, I will face this darkness. Frederick, my sword. Um, Nathaniel. Oh, glory. It fit much. Thank you, Frederick. I don't think a sword will work. We'll need some time to research and come up with a solution. Hmm. You may be right. A sword probably isn't the best thing to fight dark magic clouds. I'll post some guards to keep watch of the area in the meantime. All right, Frederick. False alarm. You are dismissed. Poor Frederick. He's a great kid. After his apprenticeship ends, he'll make a fine guard. All in good time. Speaking of good time, maybe it's a good time to show you our new citizens to their homes. I think you're right. After what they've been through, I think a rest is in order. Come with me, Bunny Lord. Your farm is waiting. And I'll show you to your new homeland. It is right near the quarry. I can't wait to see the work you do and for Salone to teach you. Oh, and it was nice meeting you too, Bunny Lord. Why have I a second thought? Rude. Thanks for chatting me with me on the train, Bunny Lord. Maybe we'll be able to talk again soon. Goodbye for now. Oh, and could I ask you not to mention darkness to your fellow villagers? I just don't want everyone to worry, is all. We've got it under control. Oh. Oh, Lucia. I don't think you do. Shall we see your new farm together, then? Lead the way, Archmage. Welcome again to Sunhaven, buddy. Despite how adventurous your arrival was here, I'm sure we'll have it all figured out soon. Well, here we are, buddy. First thing is first, though. You need to decide where your house is going to go. Excuse me? Go ahead and pick a spot. Just so you know, the path we're standing on leads directly into Sunhaven. You can place your house close to the bridge if you'd like to be close to town. I can see some pretty nice spots from here. But it's all up to you to uh, decide. Good luck and farewell for now. Okay, Lucia. Um, well, I think I just want my house to be right up here. That would require me to, uh, 
move this. Oh. Oh. Oh goodness. Okay. Um. I want my house out here. I think. Why? Why? I want to pick it out. Can I pick it out? Please. Please, sir. I don't think it's going to allow me to. I guess I'll just put it here then. Yeah, hey, yeah. Knock, knock. Look at you. Popping at him already? You're really committed to this farming gig, huh? <laughs> That's great. Who are you, and why are you in my house? Ha! Ah, where have my manners gone? My name is Anne, and I happen to be Sunhaven's most distinguished merchant. I wanted to officially welcome you to our new farmer, to town. Speaking of which, I can't help but notice you don't seem to have any farm tools or seeds. Why don't you let me take care of you? Take care of me? I want to make a deal with you! I call it... Anne's Ready to Go Farm Kit. With all the tools you need, plus... 15 wheat seeds, and only 250 coins. What do you say? 150 coins. Final offer. Fine. It's a deal. Tough customer, huh? I like that in a business partner. Anyway, there's no relationship stronger than one born in business, you know. Why don't we step outside and you can show me how you do your work, hmm? These tools are rusty. I'll have to craft better ones when I can. I'll be nice, even though she broke into my home. Let's get these seeds in the ground. Thank you for the rusty tools. But I gave you half my money for it. Okay. Oh, they have health bars. Sorry, my brain don't work so well. As we learned in prior videos. Uh. Well, I guess. Oh, what did I just get? I would take it. I'm going to go ahead and clear out a nice little section here and do this right in front of my house. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, another one, two, another one, two, one, two. Oh, that one was just one. Nice. Love that. Okay, anyways. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, bada bing, bada boom, bada blam, bada do, bada bang. Oh, that is upsetting. There we go. And there we go. Put the seeds in the ground. I sure do. 
Oh, there we go. Sorry, y'all. I drank an energy drink. My brain is all zooming. Uh. Water. We love the water. Oh, I don't. Oh, nice. Okay. Love that. Okay. More water, please. Thank you. I don't know what this video is going to be, but it's fun. Have fun. You. Did you want me to? Oh, Lord. Are you just going to stand there and watch me all day? Don't you have business you need to attend to? You've already broke into my house. You would think that would be, you know, unlawful. But, what do I know? I'm just the farmer baker man. And you're just the merchant burglar lady. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be staying down there for a little bit since you decided to just break into my house. Put that there. Oh, that is so bad. We'll put that there. A baker station and a cooking pot. Chop that down. Well, I guess... Didn't really chop anything. I'm more to hit it with a pickaxe. Anyways. Ow. Tuck the bowl my chair closer and I rolled over my foot. That hurt. Okay, and Oh, well, you gave me coins. Oh. Uh... You know what? Give me that mining XP. <laughs> nice job, farmer. Not bad for such a small job. <laughs> if you really want to build up your farm, you should take these logs to the crafting bench. Hey. I can see one from here, actually. Yeah. The one I can't move? What, did you put that there too? At a crafting bench, you can turn logs into planks and other useful things. Ignore, ignore the fact that I broke into your home. It's, it's normal business practice for me. It's an intimidation tactic. Anyways, I have other businesses to tend to. You should check out the town general store. You can buy more seeds there. Because, let's be real, a measly 15 wheat isn't going to get you very far. Okay. Well, where's the general store? It's directly right of your farm. You really can't miss it. Especially if you check your map by pressing M. I don't know what that means. Anyways, it was nice to meet you, er... Uh, What's your name? And then he like, Oh, yeah. A cute name. Listen, Bunny Lord. If you want to make some real money, try growing more like 40 wheat. Once you harvest it, sell it in the cell portal next to us. You'll make a nice profit for a chain. But it's up to you, Bunny Lord. Live your life in Sunhaven however you want. Just make sure it pays. Okay. I did not walk in here, but hurry. You've got to be that new neighbor people are talking about. Welcome to the general store. Oh, wait, one sec. There we go. Anyway, I'm in a 
I work here, and over at the farming shop, and down at the fishing store, and in town hall. Okay, I work a lot. I heard people say you're supposed to be a farmer. Well, we sell lots of basic seeds among loads of other things. Our furniture stop also changes every day. Be sure to always stop in and see what's new. Wait, so how do you work at so many places at once? I keep my nose to my word. No distractions. But... And I move really quick. Do you ever not work? Ah. That's the great thing about this place. There's never not any work to do. See? They've set up this bulletin board right outside the shop. Everyone always goes there to post up job offerings. All those odd jobs net me a pretty gold coin or two. That's for sure. If you don't waste time with stuff like sleeping, you have all sorts of time to get work done. I'll have to check the bulletin out myself. Ah. Eager to help out, huh? That's funny. Because I was actually meaning to finish delivery. That was posted up on the board. Thing is, though, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in time. Due to being stuck at work and all. Why don't you complete the delivery for me? Huh? Sure, I'd love to. Hey, yo. Neat. Thanks a lot, neighbor. Here, it's an order salon of Smurf. I was supposed to deliver it to him, but I guess I got caught up with work. Just take the order to him and he can smith up what Algaric's needs. And remember that people can't wait forever. You usually get a few days to complete the task once you accept it from the bulletin board. Oh, and feel free to take a look around the shop. I'm here all day. I'm also in several other places all day. Just take your time, really. Sir! Okay, well, first things first. 15, 20. That'll be half of what we need for Hefty Harvest. Uh, you, Ashton. Mom said in springtime job would be fun and... Uh, but, but all I do is sweep the floors and stock shelves. Uh, this isn't really fun at all. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Who are you? Kara! Hello there. You're a new neighbor? I'm happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Todd's mother, Kara. Kara? My name is Bunny Lord. Bunny Lord? Now that's a nice name. I'm glad that old farm is someone to take care of now. It used to be so beautiful. Well, I'm going to make it beautiful again. And you're always welcome. Look, oh, she's so adorable. Oh, I love the art style. It is so cute. Okay, touch the water. Oh, okay, I guess I got more mana. The cool water is refreshing. There's a plaque fixed to the fountain. Let's see what it says. May the blessings of Ilio shine down on you. That is... thoughtful. Hey, Bunny Lord. Sorry again about the rough landing you had here in Sunhaven. You got any crops growing yet? So you're in charge of all the soldiers in Sunhaven. With everything that's happened, is Sunhaven in any danger? At the moment, no. Not at all. The Great Army has established a military outpost in Sunhaven for a time like this. We're here to keep an eye on things and ensure the town's borders remain secure. It's comforting to have you here. I'm happy we're here too. The Sunhaven is a gem of a city. Even with everything we're facing, I'm glad to protect it. So you're in charge of all the soldiers in town? Yes, indeed. I'm Captain of the Guard. The Sunhaven Corps includes some of the finest soldiers I've seen. In truth, 
I'm honored to lead them. You care for them quite a bit? Of course. They're in my charge, which means I'm responsible for turning them into the strongest soldiers possible. That's a responsibility I do not take lightly. Well, see ya. I don't know what you like, so I'm not gonna get you any- Oh, I should probably do the skill tree. Hey, so I can see, I already have one point. Uh, do I want air scan? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do this one because I'm gonna do a lot of community quests. Who are you? Flyer boy! Hey, you. Wanna win a true love's heart? Come see what's new in Cynthia's shop of romance and... Uh, uh, and I forget what else she, she, she told me to say, actually. Oh, <laughs> that is cute. Museum! Hi, Judith. Who's that? Shame. Don't recognize your face. My name's Bunny Lord. I'm the new farmer here. Oh, the farmer? That's right. Lucia told us there was someone moving here. It's good to meet you. My name is Judith. Well, I'll see you. Hello, Albert. Oh. Are you the new neighbor? Oh. Have I just forgotten your name? My name is Penny Lord. I'm the new farmer. Of course you are. Well, I'm delighted to meet you, Bunny Lord. Call me Albert, because that's my name. Okay, Albert. <laughs> See ya. Let's go to the museum. Okay. Another cutscene. We love a cutscene. Wow. Such a fabulous museum. But wait. It looks like those two gentlemen are having a serious discussion. I'm sorry, they said fabulous. I I went with it, and I'm gonna continue going with it. I'm sorry. The building is quite impressive, I give you that, but you simply can't join the association if your museum has no artifact artifacts to display. Uh, uh, but, but, uh... If you just agree to give me a little more time... Look... I know... You're trying hard. Fill this place up with things worth looking at. And you can have another shot. Alright? Yeah. Why, this is the Museum of Sunhaven. I founded this institute to collect and display the natural wonders one can find out in Sunhaven and its surrounding lands. The one issue is, um, however, is that, uh, um, that currently our stock of displays is, well, rather, uh, is sparse, uh, but, one should not worry about that. For soon, I'll have our fine museum outfitted with the grandest displays of curiosities and what what. Do you need help? 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 <laughs> Please, actually, uh, the, the, the museum is actually accepting donations if you've got anything to contribute. Uh, we will happily ensure that proper place among the collection. Well, what sort of things are you looking for? We're in the market for all sorts of natural wonders. Come to mention it, uh, you do look like the adventurous and capable type. Just the type of person we need. If I have it right, then I shall commission you as a member. You'll have access to the museum proper, and can see for yourself what still we need to collect and display. Well, let's do it. Tell it ho! 
Oh, that's the spirit I like to see. Now raise your right arm and repeat the words after me. The curator has you repeat a very long and exhaustive pledge of allegiance to the proper and ethical collection of artifacts. Despite its length, he maintains a stout passion throughout the entire ordeal. Finally, the pledge is finished and you are allowed you are allowed to put your arm down. Is that it? That's it, old bait! You are now an official member of the Sunhaven Museum Society. Welcome aboard! And, and, and all that. D -d this just because I forgot to lock the front door. Imagine fate working like that. Your membership status grants you full access to the museum. Take a look around. Should you ever have anything we still need, simply place it in the empty display. Not to worry, myself or other curators will take care of it from there. There are other curators. Did you think I was the only one here, chat? Go on. I simply can't wait for you to meet them. I'll get going then. Uh... You know, with the tally-ho and the chap, I'm beginning to think that maybe he's not supposed to be... You know what? We're going. We're going with it. Because that's an easy voice for me to do. Let's read the discarded letter. It's a letter addressed to the curator. You know it's not polite to read other people's mail, but your curiosity gets better of you. Dear Covington, the Great Society of Museums and Historical Recordings is pleased to know you've restored the old museum in Sunhaven. We will have one of our officiators visit and uh, see if your outfit is worth joining the society. We understand your excitement. Joining the society means people from across the four regions will visit Sunhaven and your museum. We expect great things from you, Covington. Sign, the Great Society of Museums and Historical Recordings. Love it. Love that. The Aquarium. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oi there. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, this is the, this is the museum's live aquarium. As you can see, though, we're a little low on fish right now. I'm just maintaining the units until we have fish form. Why don't you have any fish? Uh, tell me something. You ever meet Peter? Peter, you mean the fisherman? That's right. Walks around, crab on his head. Well... When I took the job at this museum, he promised to help me fill the tanks with fish. But, he's too lazy to do any fishing for his sister. I should have known. Peter is your brother. That's right. He's a lazy good-for-nothing who barely even manages his fishing business. But he's the best fisherman I've ever met. In the meantime, I'm keeping the units here ready for fish. If I ever get any. If you fish? Well, I suppose if you're in here, then that means you're part of our museum crew. All right. That checks out to me. It can't be worse than waiting for my lazy brother to bring me anything at least. Catch me some fish and bring them here. I'll give him a good home and observe him for my research work. All right. I'll get right on that. Mix up them up. And going to the next door. Oh, you're in here. Hello. Back so soon! My adventurous com compatriot. Why aren't you in the lobby right now? 
and not at all, old thing. I'm right here in front of you, but I suppose you mean the haste in which I traveled from room to the next? <laughs> uh, just something that runs in our family. Are you related? <laughs> okay, yeah, you are related to Emmett. Especially Emmett. Why, that lad is a nephew of mine. Don't worry. If you go to the lobby, I'll zip right on over there and I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> if you say so. I'm scared. Okay, Hall of Gems. Oh? Help! Help! Uh, what's that noise? Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Is someone there? Like buried under a pile of rocks? Could you help me? If it's not much trouble, maybe. Okay, hold on. I'll... Oh. Oh, oh my. Hey, thank you for helping me. Uh, I, I didn't think anyone could hear my calls for help. I was happy to. I suppose I owe you for saving me. Uh, I, I, I could have been trapped under there for who knows how long. The others don't often visit the Swing of Museum. Why? Oh, uh, well, um, because our geology wing is a little empty right now. Uh, I, I have lots of samples to sort through, but uh, we, we're missing good samples from here in Sunhaven. Uh, maybe I can help? What kind of rocks do you need? R really? Well, uh, uh, if, if you mean that, uh, then you can see where the, what samples we're currently looking for uh, by, by examining the, the, the plinths uh, around, around the room. Uh, you, you can find the samples inside the mines in Sunhaven. Uh, if, if you ever need anything you'd like to donate, uh, uh, just, just 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 place it on the plinth. Uh, I can handle everything from there. I, I, I promise. Okay. I, I won't stop you from leaving to, to, to get to work. Uh, uh, oh, um, and just talk to me anything at uh, 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 any time, I mean. Uh, uh, any time you need anything. Uh, 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 all right. Got it. We're just gonna... go. My friends are weird. Okay. Back to the farm. Oh, wait, who are you? You're blonde. I forgot to change my hair color. But I'm also blonde. Well, I guess I have more red in my hair than blonde, but... By the way... Hmm. You must be a new farmer. I'm Claude. I'm Bunny Lord. It's good to meet you. Sure thing. Um... Me too. Okay, well... See ya. Down we go. Zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. <laughs> this isn't a suitable home for any dog in its condition. Well, I don't have 25 wood. Giuseppe! I heard we were getting new neighbor. Welcome to Sunhaven. My name's Giuseppe. What an interesting name, my name's Bunnyler. You think so? I come from a town on the border of the northern and eastern regions. It's a pretty standard name there. Well, I like it. It's nice. Love. Okay. I wish I moved faster. But there was a run button? Or it just ran down your stamina, maybe? Do I have stamina? Okay. Either way, I'm gonna be howling away. Four, five, and six. Why six? Well, because we have this random seed that I don't know what it is. I, I'm probably gonna clean this up. 
and uh, I'll come back after we're done. Because uh, I, I don't think anyone wants to see me run around breaking everything. Okay, everyone. We are back. Uh, I didn't clear out a whole lot because, uh, well, that's why. It is so slow. But, I know that's kind of just how the start is. Uh, you do get more tools and such that make things a lot faster. The more you level up, the better you are at, you know, taking these things out, clearing it. Um, I mean, especially with these. I mean, look at this. I did nothing to it. Nothing at all. Well, you see that tiny little sliver out of it. I am not gonna sit there and, like, chop it down like that. Mm -mm. Too much. But, I did manage to clear out this section, uh, and I cleared out the beads from up here. Uh, also, discovered this little, th th this little person that's, uh, called a snack coon. Uh, and I get, if I give him apples and wheat, he will move. And I guess that, uh, that, that'll lead up and be a quicker way up there. Anyways. We did level up a couple times during that. Uh, in farming and in exploration. So now we're level 5 farmer. And uh, level 1. No. Level 4. Uh, exploration. Uh, increased damage done to trees. Is it noticeable? I know it's only one level. A little bit. It's a little. We also got mail. To Farmer Bunny Lord, I'm Bernard, Administrator at Sunhaven's Town Hall. I wanted to reach out with this housewarming gift. As a representative of Sunhaven, I hope it helps you get settled on your new land. Come visit me at Town Hall, right in the middle of Sunhaven's Town Square. I can sell you a barn for livestock as well as a house upgrade permit to authorize an upgrade to your old farm cabin. If you ever wish to upgrade your buildings, simply obtain the necessary point permits and then use an upgrade table. To upgrade the buildings, as long as you have the necessary materials for the job, of course. Regards, Bernard. All right. Well, thank you for the wooden torches and the fences. Greeting, citizen. In the interest of ensuring the continued safety of Sunhaven, the Great Army Barracks is offering free combat training lessons to interested individuals. Come visit the barracks for a free training session with Rosa. Citizens can use their map to locate the barracks in the northeast of Sunhaven. Great Army of the Four Regions official correspondence. Well, we'll do. Look, I'm in a fairy ring. Never do that in real life, by the way. Bad, bad, bad to do that. Don't do that. Uh, I completely lost track of what I was doing. Goodness. Anyways, we do have another seed. Uh, Lamo. Oh, let's water it for it. Don't just. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, as you can see, I did not do much down there. Uh, it is, uh, the same. I didn't even go down there. So, anyways, I did notice this. This isn't a suitable dog. A suitable dog? Oh, my. Suitable home for any dog in its condition. Well, I need more wood planks. I only have eight. However, I did get a lot of logs to turn to be turned into planks. Also, I'm just gonna. It, it got very dark, so I'm just gonna, blammo, blammo, 
I know it's not much, but at least then I can actually see the area around the bridge. I might have to turn up the brightness, if I'm being honest. Uh, I know. I haven't harvested anything, so I don't really have anything to sell. Okay, so we're gonna get 40 points right there. We have to wait for it to finish, but... It's there. We'll go out and do other things in the meantime. Uh... Let's do the first mission, which is, uh, deliver the thing to the floor. I know that these hold three, so I'm gonna wait till it has three on it. Why, who are you? Oh, Harris! Hey, other day! Say anything that excites your entrance? What you selling? You scary, scary man. Well, what's up here? Um, I don't have a weapon, so I don't think that's a good idea. Combat arena. Okay, yeah. You. Sloane's ex-apprentice. Oh, scandalous. Hmm. I used to be Sloane's apprentice. So he said my copper helmets always come out dented. If I ain't good enough, then no one is. Oh, honey. Something tells me you just suck at your job. Well now, I bet you're that flirtatious new farmer Lynn was going on about. Flirtatious? I'm not wasting my time with an apprentice who isn't serious. And this one is already better than the last. You better not be a distraction. You hear what I'm saying, farmer? Listen, I just have a... I'm just trying to do delivery. I'm not interested in Lynn. I just want a farm. God, that pesky dragon again. Blimey. Look out. Oh. Oh. He's so cute. Can I be friend? Darn little lizard. Cause the rock slide. You're right over there. I <laughs> All right. All right. Then let's get these rocks cleaned out. Help me out, will ya? And then I just leave. Okay. Bam. 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 I know I'm going from one to the other. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's... Just what my brain wants. Satisfying! Yeah. Okay. Well. Alright! That'll do it! Thanks for the help. Maybe I was a little quick to judge a farmer. Was that a baby... What, what was the baby dragon doing anyway? It's been roosting up in the warm four rocks. I figure it must like the heat. I'd let him stay, but the little bugger doesn't even seem to know its own strength. A single flap of its wings send rubble flying. Well, what should we do? For my part, these two copper helmets from the barracks order won't hammer themselves. For you, I reckon that talking to the Archmage Lucia is your work order. We all got our part to play here, and mine ain't lugging these old bones Back to town, while the forge is hot. Town hall, got it. Uh, we'll do farm mi mining again. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Uh, I like more gold. Hey, Lynn. Oh, hello, it's you again. It's good to see that face uh, that I actually recognize, uh, especially after what happened on the train. What do you do here, Lynn? I'm a blacksmith, or I guess apprentice blacksmith. Sloan is teaching me, but I've only just started training with him. I hope to be as good as him one day. I'm sure you'll be a master. Oh, well, thank you. 
I'm sorry, compliments always catch me by surprise. You're very nice, you know. Where did you say you're from? I'm from a little village east, so I'm learning to live in the big city like this. Uh, it's a lot to take in. That is just rude. Goodness. I'm just in you. Thanks. For now, I'm taking it slow and trying to explore a new part of Sunhaven every day. As you should. You lovely, lovely lady. Anyways, I guess I'm off to talk to Lucia. At the mall. Nope, at the hall. I imagine I just go to, like, a shopping mall. Doesn't fit the theme at all. Oh, that would be hilarious. Who lives here? Oh, it's Lynn. Lynn lives there. Uh, who lives here? Uh, oh! I didn't see her at first. Hello, Cara. I wonder what Sunhaven will look like in a hundred years. That's my cue to leave. Who are you? I don't know you. Wise old man. You know what I've learned, kid? The early bird catches a lemon and makes it into lemonade or something like that. <laughs> okay. That voice actually hurt a little bit. Ow. Uh... I'm sure there's a way to go down there. Uh, but... We're on a mission. Who are you? You look nice. You are Peter. Oh, I love the Lord! Can you feel the wind? It's going to be a beautiful day! You have a question for me? So are you from Sunhaven originally? I've lived here all my life! So you tell me? Yep, I know this town backward and forward. Not a thing I would change about it. Other towns just can't compare. I'll take your break for it. Well, I've visited every port town in the western coast. So I'm not just blowing all day. Have you always been a fisherman? Not always. I used to run trade with my ship. But I got tired of that. I don't like traveling routes as much as sailing the sea freely. So fishing allows you more freedom? Sure does. Now I just follow the weather and my natural instinct. The sea guides me. Alrighty, love that. Hello, Tonya. You're the new neighbor Lucia told me about. I'm Tonya. Glad to meet you. Good to meet you too. You're living on a farm, right? I'm the town Koya, so I'll be delivering your mare then. Alright, good to know. Uh, ah, I got stuck on a signpost. Can we go up, 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 to the town hall. Okay, another cutscene! This time with Lucia, Nathaniel, and... I'm assuming that's Giuseppe. No, that's not Giuseppe. Uh, the, 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 the... I don't know. Yes, so long as the borders of Sunhaven are secure, we can continue to keep, wa keep a watch over the train station. The path to the Northern Forest should remain closed for the citizens' own safety. Oh, it's been on. The, the Northern Force must be quite dangerous right now. Captain, are you sure your soldiers are safe? Of course. We've got it under control. Sunhaven has all the time it needs to figure out the next step. Oh, it's funny, Lord. What's brought you to Town Hall? I was looking for you, actually. Is that so? I was just wrapping up a little meeting with Bernard and Nathaniel. So I believe I am free to help. Just a moment. Let's meet again on this issue later, shall we? What is it that you needed, Bunny Lord? 
I think dragging is, uh, it, it's causing trouble in the quarry. Oh dear. Is that little dragon causing rock sides? We were hoping Sloane, rough as he is, would be able to frighten it away. Though, for some reason, it keeps coming back. Hmm. I think we could try to lure the dragon to the ground, where it can be captured and relocated. But we'll need the use of some baits. I couldn't help but over here, and yet. Did you say you were gonna that 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 you are uh, having trouble with the little baby dragon? That's right. Start our conversation. Interrupted you. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. I came here to renew my business license, after all, for the pet shop, by the way. But I don't need to renew my license until next month. Yeah. But that's okay. Because now, I think I can help you with your problem. Oh, Oh, really, Kitty? That's wonderful to hear. Bunny Lord, meet Kitty. She sells barn animals in the Sun Haven. Town Hall sells permits for barns. But you'll have to stop at Kitty's shop for animals. All right, heard. Yeah, nice to meet you. Anyways, on the subject of your baby dragon, I don't know much about baby dragons, but I do know that they love eat fish. Just like Kitty. Yep. Yeah. If Kitty was a baby dragon, Kitty would nest in the quarry because it's so close to the ocean. So many yummy fishies in the ocean, yeah. I bet if you had a good juicy fish, you could get it to land right on the ground. Okay, so I just need a fish? Hmm. I would say you'd need an extra, extra juicy fish to attract the baby dragon. Just to be safe, yeah. This plan is a bit spur of the moment, but it just might work. I believe Peter, our local fisherman, could probably help you out with catching an appropriate fish. Uh, you could probably find him at the southern docks right now, actually. <laughs> you get me a proper fish, and I'll take care of the rest. Yep! Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, I had to... Okay. Um... Fishing or mining, fishing or mining, fishing, we'll go fishing. Okay. That was a lot of energy. Is that an octopus? No! It's too expensive. Fine. Okay. Well, also in my clearing of the land, uh, I found a black diamond. So I can actually donate that. Oh, I got stuck on a bookcase. Uh, here. Okay, so I just need 20 mana. Uh, up here? This looks like okay. Yep, Jim. Uh, there we go. We have one. We do get rewards for finishing those, by the way. It's, uh... I would have done it anyway, but that's just because I like, I, I like that. Oh. Small manatome. I'll read it. Who are you? June. Oh, it's you. Um, the new farmer. Sorry, you caught me uh, with my head in the clouds. I'm June. I didn't mean to startle you. No, no, it's fine. I was just in my head as well. It's really nice meeting you, Bunny Lord. All right, we'll see ya. I've got big, juicy, slimy fish. 
to the edge. So we're gonna go down to the southern belt. White haired person up there. Oh, here we go. We always get a fresh batch of recruits in the spring. They're eager. But truth be told, half of them will give up and go home by summer. All right. That sounds like a lot. One heart. Hey, neighbor. I'm Dr. Warnhart. You look pretty healthy to me. But come see me if you're feeling under the weather. Wow, thanks. Nice to meet you. You can call me Wormheart. If you don't want to call me Doctor. But really, I don't mind either. Alright, well, I guess if I can enter it, I'll go to him. Hello, Peter. Something smells fishy. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Ew. Shower. Shower man. Okay. Oi there! Hey! You look like you need something from me. What? Uh, well, what is it? I need help catching a special fish. Oh, yeah? What kind of special fish are we talking about? Briefly explain the situation. Oh, yeah? So why do you... Why don't you go on and, uh... Catch this fish yourself? I don't have a fishing rod. You mean to tell me? You don't have a fishing rod? Hey! Take my old one! Fishing is real easy! Just use a rod like any other tool. When you spy the shapes of fish in the water, cast your rod out. Fish are coy. So wait until you feel a strong bite. Then give your rod a pull and set the hook. Then it's up to you to land the fish. Wow, thanks for the rod. Can I catch a fish trail? It seems like we don't have to waste time. Let me handle this one. You'll just stand back and take it easy, all right? Okay. Peter? Now watch closely as I demonstrate an ancient fisherman's art to you. Putting on a worm on a hook. Fascinating. All right, the hook is loaded up. I'll have your fish in a jiffy. Don't you worry. You can do it. Oh, um. Eh? This guy again. I wasn't fishing for you. Get off of my line. Sorry. This is maybe a little too big and juicy for a single baby dragon. Okay, put it back now. All right, all right. Hold your horse, fish. Let's try again. There we go. These chunky groupers are nice and fatty. Not too agreeable with most people's taste, but I bet your baby dragon couldn't resist if it tried. Here you go. Well, thanks a lot. I'm gonna run away. Yep. Okay, oh. But well, I just cut right in front of them. Speedy, 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 speedy. Up and around the corner. Up and around. Oh. I slowed back down. Oh. 
excuse me, sorry about that. Again, I'm trying to manage your drink. It's zooming through. Okay. Is this the right way? I was going on memory. Okay, it is. I don't think anyone else would have a photo of Kitty in front of their house. Oh! Is it too late now? Probably. Oh, Amit, are you wearing cat ears? Oh wait, no, it's just the chair. Withergate, I'm too busy to worry about monsters. Okay, Amit, what are you selling? Chickens, cows, animal name tag, animal food, barn wallpaper. You know, no is dead. Okay, well. Does the map tell me what people are? Okay, guys. Okay, so Kitty is still in town. So hopefully I can still catch her. Look at Lucia up there being fabulous. Okay. Do I smell a big, tasty fish in your pack? <laughs> Just stand it here, and I'll make it into some yummy baby dragon food, yeah? Just visit me tomorrow, okay? I'll have some yummy baby dragon food prepared for you then. Sounds good. Get any more fishing experience, please. Oh, that was adorable. Hello, Claude. I just don't feel like talking right now. Okay, Claude. Goodbye, then. Clothing store. Haircuts. I want this one first. Okay, never mind. That is a lot. And I have little... Can I interact with this? Oh. Well... Oh, so they close at eight. Heard. Okay. Well, we'll just collect all that, and uh, for now. This is where uh, we'll pull this episode to a close. Uh, this has been Sunhaven Episode 1. And I hope y'all beautifully handsome individuals have a lovely, lovely day.